One of the things up on deck 16 of the Lido deck of P&O Cruises Britannia is the ability that you can book a balcony cabin as a single passenger. Not only are there price discounts for booking a, a single cabin, uh, because obviously they're smaller than your standard cabins, 164 square foot I believe they are, but you've got your own balcony and it's right by the wonderful crow's nest. It's a place on Britannia that I really enjoy going to, so being able, being able to be only a few steps away to your cabin where you're going to be sleeping and spending a bit of time, uh, it's really, really good. They're wonderful in terms of decor and uh, I thought I'd take the opportunity just to show you around. Now the first thing that hits me whenever I walk into one of these single balcony cabins on Britannia is how light it is. Uh, there's you know good light painting on the wall, there's decor to the right hand side, the television that you can see to the left hand side, with the curtains back and the, the brightness of the outside, hopefully the sun, it really does make for a lovely home for whatever the duration of your cruise. Clearly because of the size of any of the balcony cabins on Britannia, you can't actually have a double bed, it's a single bed in one configuration, but it's got a nice uh, sort of discreet setting around there. You've got the L shape. You've got something you can grab hold of if you get out of, as you get out of bed if you want to. The controls to the lights, of course. It's a nice, comfortable bed. For me personally, I do sometimes find the pillows rather firm, but you can go down to one pillow. You might even, you know, roll up a towel inside it. But it's a nice, comfortable position, a place to call your own. When you're in any of the cabins on deck 16, whether it's a balcony one or an inside one, your muster station will be muster station A, which is the headline the theatre company which is at the front of the ship in the same location that can be accessed either on deck six or deck seven access out onto the balcony is of course very easy just by using the handle you can gain quick access to the outside of the balcony there are two seats outside on the balcony there isn't much room but of course you still get the benefit of being outside uh, having a handrail you can lean across, a small table that you can see, and when you decide to go out there during the evening, there's even a light that you can turn on just to illuminate things that bit better for you while you enjoy perhaps a drink or reading. I really enjoy spending time outside on the balcony. It gives a, a really good alternative to being inside, of course. The weather might be beautiful. That's what you hope for on a cruise holiday. There's these small dividers that separate you from your neighbours, of course, with they give you that little bit of extra privacy. I've never had a problem with the level of storage being offered. There are two wardrobes that you can access. Uh, it's got the safe inside one of them that you can see, which is great to uh, put your personal belongings into that extra little bit of security. Uh, but storage has never been an issue. You'll even be able to fit your suitcase into the other wardrobe if you need to. This is the part of the wardrobe where you can put your hanging items. Obviously, as you can see, there are plenty of space, plenty of hangers to be able to put your items on here. There's even a ledge underneath that the hangers in order to put other clothes, a little bit of shelving and plenty of space to put that suitcase to make sure that it's not either on the floor outside or not squeezed under the bed. The bathroom and, and toilet facilities are shower only, which is which is really, really nice. Uh, it's not a small, I wouldn't say it was a small bathroom. Uh, plenty of room to be able to maneuver, even when you've got mobility issues like myself. Uh, an opportunity to be able to hang on to uh, a handle in the shower. Uh, nice decor, nice and bright. Everything that you would need in order to uh, be able to live there in your cabin. Thanks to everybody that continues to give me wonderful feedback on my blog at stevebeard.blog and for those of you that have joined my channel here on YouTube. If you'd like to see more content, then please click the subscribe button down in the left or the right hand side of the screen, wherever the logo appears. And if you did like the video that you just watched, please press the like button.